Welcome to another episode of Start Young. I'm here with my two boys. And what are we making today, guys? Chocolate granola. Chocolate granola. Okay, so this is a basic recipe that anyone can put together. Very simple ingredients. We're going to make two types, okay, guys? We're going to make a basic one, and then we're going to change it up and add a few other ingredients into it, okay? Like chocolate? Like so. Ooh, like some more chocolate, you mean? It already has chocolate in it. Okay. Actual chocolate. Actual chocolate? That's a good idea. So maybe we'll change it up and in the second one we'll add a few extra chocolates. So Brian's going to go and grab that. Okay, so for this recipe, what do you guys think we need? Hmm? Uh, oats. We are going to start off with some oats. So Brian, can you pop two, um, two cups of oats? Now, I've actually bought two types of oats. I've got the whole grain oats, and that's um, that's the better option. But I do have quick oats as well. All right, it was supposed to be two, Brian. But we can double the amount. Let's do one cup of this, okay? Can you hold that for mummy? Yep. Okay. So this is the quick oats. So we're going to double this recipe. And... So, Brian, did you put three cups? Yeah. Right? Okay. So, we're going to add some cocoa powder into here next, mm -hmm. yes? Why don't you guys smell it first? Let's use our senses. Make sure it's not yes. Yeah. Do you reckon it'll taste delicious? Yeah. Okay. How would it eat? It smells good. Yeah. Do you want to taste it? Oh, ah. <laughs> ah. Now, why do you think it tastes like? Well, actually, let me ask you first, what does it taste like? It tastes really strong. Strong, yes. And um, how would you describe the flavour? Bad. Why is it bad though? Well, it's really, how it's really, really strong. Strong, yeah, because do you know why that is? So this is just cocoa powder, yes? Why does yeah. it smell so good when mm. it tastes so bad? Yeah, so it hasn't been mixed with the other ingredients yet. Yes, yeah, so we need to add a little bit of um, sugar or to a sweetener it best, into okay. it. To yes. It so wait, do you have the sugar? I've got a sweetener. We're using maple syrup. Okay, so we're adding all the dry ingredients oh. into there first. So next up, let's sprinkle a little bit of salt in here. Why do you think we're adding salt to this? Any idea? No. Mm -hmm. So salt actually brings out the flavour well, of the chocolate. Dom's going to mix it now. And then we're going to add some maple syrup. So we need two thirds of this frying. So the best thing about getting the kids involved is that they get to learn what ingredients go into something like this. Often the cereals that are in the shop do have a lot more sugar and they use a lot of refined ingredients. Okay, so we're going to add a bit of coconut oil into this. I'm going to pour it in. Okay. Can we eat it like this? Okay, so I'm going to start off with a third. John, did you want to pour that in and mix it and see how, how we go, whether we need more or not? Okay, fine. So, guys, you could actually eat it like this if you really want it to, right? And you have yeah, it with milk. So mm. But what we're going to do is we're going to pop it in the oven. Right and that's now. how we're going to make the granola. And let's bring this tray over here. Okay. So with the next one, we're going to add a few other ingredients. So we're going to pop it in the oven on 180 degrees. So I've already preheated the oven. Looking delicious. Are you guys ready? Should we pop this yeah. one in? So yeah. whilst this is in the oven, we're going to make, make another batch. Do you guys remember? Do you remember how to make this? Without me telling you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Let's make another batch. All right.
make it with, let's stick to the quick oats, okay? Done. Alright, so we need three cups of this. Okay, so it's very, very similar to this next recipe that we're doing, but we're adding a few different ingredients. And again, I'm sticking to some safe ingredients that the boys, I think the boys will appreciate. And then we can change it up as well. So three cups of that. And I just wanted to try out to see what it's like when we're just using quick oats on its own. Because normally we always use the rolled oats. But for younger children who don't prefer the, um, who are still not too keen on like the crunchy texture, the quick oats might be a little bit better because it's finer, it's thinner. So this is, I'm thinking this would be better for children that are between like three to five will actually make it taste even better and that's um, vanilla extract so we've got to add that into the other two batches boys but we're gonna add a little bit into this one so I want you guys to smell this what do you think it'll smell like mm, that's how it smells like a sister it's very strong actually you smell it so we're going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. Do you want to add that in, Brian? Yeah. So we're going to add in a third of the peanut butter, which is about that much, Dom. Yeah. Actually, we can use it. We can use this if you want to. Okay. So let's throw that in. Yep. I'm going to add some seeds into it as well. So I've got a mixture of. Um, Sunflower seeds and linseed. You can use any seeds. So I've also got some flax seed as well, which is high in fiber and protein. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that in as well. So when we're cooking, we always want to check the flavor and the texture. And this is really important because that lets us know whether we need more or less. Alright, let's try this one and then I can pop it in the oven. Check the oven. Mm hmm What do you reckon, Dom? Yeah, but can taste the peanuts in it. We left this one in for a tad too long, so it's a little bit burnt on that edge there, but that's okay. Time to pop that in the oven. Why is this a better option than um, what we normally buy, boys? Because mm, there's no added sugar. Um, very, yes, 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 yes. Um, so yes, what's oats in it? That's right, and oats are fantastic, aren't they? Because they give you slow releasing energy. Um, and they're not refined and you're right Brian so the sugar that you've got in here is honey honey that's right which is a better option right it's not refined it's still I sugar but it is different in. pardon put yeah we only yes you're right we only put a little bit of honey in we only put some we didn't uh, make it overly sweet so you're right yeah so would you bring this to um to school for recess as well, boys? Mm. Brian wouldn't. I would. You would? Yeah. Why wouldn't you bring it, Brian? Mm. It's more of a home snack. More of a home snack. Well, we can actually bring it to school. If we make it a bit more sticky, we can make it bigger, bigger clumps as well. Okay. Enjoy. So remember, the best way to encourage your children to eat better is to expose them to healthier options. So this is a great recipe because it is not only delicious, but it's also going to fuel their body and their brains and give them long lasting energy. And it will teach them that healthy food can be tasty. So let me know how you go with this recipe. If you have any questions, please let me know as well. In the meanwhile, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to seeing you again.